Hi everybody, this is Dennis from the Dennis and Andy Show. I'm going to do a full review of Beta Ray Bill from Marvel Comics issues 1, 2, and 3 so we can kind of get up to the story. I was very excited. I'm a huge Beta Ray Bill fan. Um, I have been since, you know, back in the old Thor days and the highlight of the 80s. Um, so I was very excited to hear about the collaboration um, that uh, Daniel Warren Johnson, you know, had with his discussion with Walt Simonson. So this is um, from the pages of Donny Cates Thor in Spinning out of, the, uh, out of the Events of the King in Black, the second most famous wielder of Mjolnir, um, the right-hand man to the God of Thunder, and now a warrior without his best weapon. Beta Ray Bill is tired of playing second fiddle to Thor, and with Bill's famous hammer Stormbreaker recently destroyed at the new All-Father's Hands, tensions are higher than ever. The Corviknight must strike out in search of a new weapon and a new destiny. Assuming he can, first defeat a uh, nullified Fing Fang Foom. Um, so, yeah, the writer and the artist Daniel Warren Johnson, um, you know, he had a conversation and a discussion about where they kind of wanted to take Beta Ray Bill with uh, uh, Walt uh, Simonson. So, I had some pretty high expectations going in. So why don't we just kind of jump in and, and then take a look. Um, here's the, it talks a little bit about it. Um, Thor, it talks about Thor becoming the All-Father and recently during a, a disagreement with Bill, Thor shattered Stormbreaker. The two friends, you know, they made amends and Thor has, had asked Bill to become Asgard's master of the war. Living in Asgard again, Bill has begun to rekindle his old romance with Lady Sif. And that's kind of where this starts out. Um, you know, so for starters, you know, we can look. And it's definitely a, a different art style. Um, you know, we go through it. I like traditionally really clean artwork when it comes to my superhero books. Um, this is a little bit different of a take. I don't love it. I don't hate it. Um you know, but as we continue on, so we can see Sif, you know, he, he's kind of bummed out about everything like that. Um, Soldiers of Asgard, um, the King in Black's great uh, beast is finally upon us. He is just beyond the gates of our beautiful home. But we have we have uh, something else planned. So he's basically rallying all the troops in Asgard. And here comes <laughs> Fing Fang Foom, puny horse face. That's a nice shot. I like that. That, uh, well, well, they're like, kneel before the might of Foom. So you can actually see from King in Black, you know, he's been nullified. Um, pretty good. Their shuttle, or scuttlebutt uh, coming in. The artworks uh, and the battle's pretty, pretty decent in here. Um... You know, as we take a look, you know, there's not a lot of combat going on. So, you know, you, it, it's a traditionally good battle between them. But, you know, what winds up really happening is, you know, Beta Ray Bill gets his, gets his butt toasted, basically. Who swoops in? Thor has returned. Hurrah! Thor swoops in, saves the day. Um... To Thor, uh, the savior and protector of Asgard. Hurrah, hurrah. You know, poor Bill, who is just about to die, has given everything. He doesn't have the power that Thor does. And he's very sad. And, and you can tell things are eating at him. Sif comes in to reconcile, you know, with him. And they start to rekindle their relationship. But because there is no more Stormbreaker, he can't turn away from his current form and you know so he can't even have the physical relationship that he wants with Sif so he's very sad and ultimately you know he decides a hey, scuttlebutt yes beta ray bill prep the engines we are leaving that's actually a nice shot I do uh rather enjoy um you know that particular shot that was out there 
it, 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 they wind up having their disagreement again. And he goes, I have no control of who I am, but it was you uh, that broke my hammer. You took away Olin's greatest gift to me. And, you know, so he's basically, I'm going to make myself beautiful again. He goes, I, I need to leave. You know, I, I know you wanted me for this, but, you know, you're a glory hog and kind of the way he used to be. Goodbye. I need to find my own destiny and go find Odin and get a new hammer. So basically he sets out. That's the end of the first issue. And uh, it's not a bad story. Um, you know, it does set it up. It it seems a, a little on the surface, just a little bit, eh, you know, like like he's a little petty. But, you know, that's okay. That's okay. We see where we're going. I'm a ping pong player, so I love the fact that he's actually playing ping pong in, you know, by himself. Um, scuttlebutt's like I have a signal form uh, on the galley. This is cool. I love the fact that, you know, like like old Star Trek blueprints, you know, the Enterprise where they have the great cutaways and stuff. That's what this kind of reminds me of. And you can see how everything is layered up. Again, the art isn't fantastic for me, but it gets the job done and shows what it needs to. Who's, there's an alert in there and it's Scourge. Now, Scourge, you know hasn't always been so consistent uh, over the comics and stuff and he's got some some wine liners and some wit and he decides hey i'm gonna come and join you um yeah and he goes you know i'm useful i can be useful for you he goes i don't need a warrior scourge bah you're not gonna take on any adventure you must have a warrior i'm not going to fight i only need information i need to find odin i know where he is see useful and he's kind of like, you know, gotcha. It, it's it's funny. I mean, sometimes it depends on how you, you write Scourge. Um, I don't quite picture him quite with the sheer volume of humor that he's got. He used to be a lot more serious. But they're, they're doing a little bit different of a take on him right now. Um, you know, the storyline continues. And, you know, Scourge, how dare you? As they're, they're going out trying to find, you know, where could Odin be? You know, and of course they get into a ballroom, uh, barroom brawl, which you know Thor does quite often. So does Beta Ray Bill. Um, and then who shows up? Pip. Pip decides he's going to join. He goes, "Pip, greetings, my friend." And in the bar fight, enough. See, Odin. What, 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 what's he doing here? Ah, he goes. What do you think? It's very good, all father. Odin's been hanging out, brewing some beer. Um, uh, and he goes, I have something, uh, that might help with your boredom, Odin. He goes, what might that be? I need a new hammer. Oh, so, and he's basically tells him, look, I, I can't just make a new hammer. I don't have that, you know, the ability to do that anymore. And he's like, yeah, there's not much I can do about that. You know, you, you need to go out and just find yourself a new weapon. Uh, Beta Ray Bill's like, spare me your platitudes, all father. You know, I have been fighting now, um, you know, at your son's side for years. Um, never have I asked you for anything. And now after your own kin destroys what is most precious to me, a gift you bestowed on me, you would send me away with nothing. I know Thor, you know, or Odin's like, I know what it's like uh, uh, to hate, you know, who you are on the outside. There is one other way for you to get what you seek. He goes, but it is a, a bad path. He's like, where must I go? <laughs> Musselheim or Musfelheim. Musfelheim. Um, the realm of fire where the worst of our kind and the beasts of, uh, and the gods cannot control. They go forever. Their souls haunted and wretched. There are multiple levels to travel down its horrible depths. Darker and darker and deeper you go. Ah, bah, an evil land. What could Bill possibly find there to help him? <laughs> this is actually pretty good. Then he's like, Twilight, you know, the blade of the demon fire god Surtur. Oh, and we all know Surtur is who destroyed, uh, you know, Bill's, uh, you know, home planet. Uh, Surtur, use the life force of your planet in your solar system to power Twilight. So much power. It could turn me back into my own self again. Yes. 
Ha! Ready the ship? We are actually heading there. So anyway, that's kind of the basis of the story that he needs to uh, a go there. Um, he's like, you know, and they're still sitting around talking. Uh, best not push him on this one, all father. Uh, then you must use a portal hidden deep within space. The Stig... St I, bet, I think it's called the Stygian Gate. Ha! I knew it was real. I. it's a dark secret that I have tried to keep quiet. To keep curious minds at bay, there are many lost treasures. And you're going even more bodies of the foolish. The adventures who uh, sought riches and glory. Um, where did that portal come from? I made it so without having to use the Bifrost, so I could easily banish the creatures who would seek to destroy Asgard, and then I built a mighty citadel around it. Another actually really cool shot. So he's basically saying, I've got all these guards, I have commissioned the most hardened of Asgard's warriors to man the battlements, and they have been ordered not to let anything through from either direction. Um, you know, and then there's the uh, Asgardian warriors. Odin lets them know they're coming, and he goes, um, basically, if you go through the gates, you're probably not going to return. And if you do, if you return with the blackness that everything that goes through the gates get, you'll be confronted by us and taste our steel. Do you understand, Corbinite? And he's like, the name is Bill. And away they go. And they're like, Pip, why are you coming? He goes, I am a troll. The definition of repulsive. You desire to love yourself, and so do I. So until I know how to do that, I have decided to follow you very well. So Pip's basically like you and I are kind of kindred spirits. I'm ugly on the outside. I want to know how to become. Something goes on. They wind up going through. Something happens, the ship starts losing power, and all of a sudden an intruder's there. But they're like, whoa, wait, it's me. It's Scuttlebutt. The ship, his sentient ship, kind of becomes a living being, which is pretty interesting. Um, you know, a lot of this stuff isn't exactly brand new, you know, in sci-fi stuff. But, you know, I see what they're doing with this. Um, he's like, Scuttlebutt? It's me, Bill. But but how? This place, Messelheim, it's changed me. Bill, your ship is a lady? No, I mean, I've, I've only known her as my ship. And I still am. But the portal, something about this dimension, it has awakened me. So basically, Scuttlebutt has become awakened. So as we go through... As they get into the, the lower planes down here, lots of bad things happen. They're being attacked. Um, they know that the, the creatures are supposed to bring down the ship. You know, but the Scuttlebutt is kind of like a battleship. So weapons go. They wind up losing power. And you can kind of see what, what's going on with it. They wind up surviving the trip down. Scuttlebutt's not a, a whole lot use. You know, you can see that... <laughs> Beta Ray Bill is playing with Scuttlebutt ping pong, of course. Like I said, I'm a ping pong fan. I think it's kind of cute. Um, Scuttlebutt reviews that reveals that she had turned the room into a records room. Ever since we met, I've kept visual records of our time together. It's all here. Um, she actually offers him a weapon, hoping that he actually would just take this weapon instead of searching out trying to go get you know stormbreaker either repaired or a new weapon created he's like thank you scuttle but she's like bill you know we can still turn back bill get up here but nope they, they're coming to attack let's do this and it winds up being typical scourge you know for the blaze running in there good battle um Again, you know, I've said it about the art. It's it's kind of not my cup of tea for this style of a book, but but I can live with it, you know, to go along with the storytelling. Um, he, it is pretty cool. This one basically has built-in jets. So as he, he throws it, um, if he throws the axe and stuff, it'll go through and it'll actually come back. And he, it, it's pretty cool. So it's got, like, one of the return abilities like Stormbreaker had or Mjolnir. Um, anyway, the battle winds up going through. 
they wind up bursting through into the lower planes. And it said, Scott, did we find out where we? Now, what the hell is that? So that's where this kind of uh, ends. So I'll give you my opinion on it. Um, overall, um, I love Beta Ray Bill. Um, I had such high expectations for the story. I think the story's been all right. Um, I, I thought it was. It's been. It's. It's been mediocre. I'm going to be honest. Um, the artwork for this type of story is mediocre. Um, I had really had higher expectations with Walt Simonson putting some input in there. I don't dislike any of the concepts, although they're very basic. You know, they both need, they all kind of need to change their outside. And it's all about physical beauty versus inner beauty. And they don't want to hear that his relationship with Sif. It, it's not bad, It's but it's also not great. Um, I'm glad this is a mini series because I, if it was an ongoing series, I, I probably would be out at this point, um, which is too bad because I, I kind of had some good expectations. Overall, I'm going to give this a, a CGC grading of a 6.5. Um, I mean, it's good enough for me to, to finish. Um, I just really did want more out of this. Um, and maybe, you know, they'll, they'll introduce some stuff that will make me change my opinion. But I kind of waited till at least I got the first three done to see where the story was heading. And I, I can see the direction it's going. Um, I would love for you all to hit the uh, like and subscribe button, like the video for me putting it out. You can agree or disagree with me on the on the content of it. You might love this series or you might hate the series, um, but give me the thumbs up for that. But then, you know, go ahead and post if you liked it or didn't like it. We don't have to agree on this. Some of you may just absolutely love this uh, and let's have a discussion on it. Um, but in the meantime, you know, I'm going to be putting out some more uh, reviews on books. I hope you all enjoy this, and I look forward to hearing from you. Bye, everybody.